Hi there. In this quick video, we're going to have a look at how to install the Focusrite Liquid Mix on Mac OS El Capitan. All right, so first and foremost, let's see what normally happens when you go to install it. I've got both the install file here on the left and the some emulations uh, on the right here. When you go to install this, we obviously double click on that, open up the window, open up the install Liquid Mix. We go through this process. Where we continue. We do have the device connected, so that's always good. Uh, continue, continue, we agree obviously, we know it's going to install the usual place, we type in the usual password, and this is the issue that I've been getting uh, with the installation having failed. The workaround I found for it is to right click on the package, go into show package contents, and in here, uh, twirl down everything until you get into the packages folder here, and then you can install them directly from here. So we're going to install the audio unit plugins, this is for people using Logic. Again, we type in a password. That goes through the process. It installs very quick and easy. The Mix Manager, again, we'll bring this up. And we'll be guided through the installation process. Again, password. And Artaz, for those of you using Pro Tools. Again, password. you can see it, it may be a little bit slower than the, uh, the individual part. And here we go, we can see that it is locating the uh, Liquid Mix hardware. You can see Liquid Mix has come to life and it's showing the right things. Uh, it's going to go through the process and just make sure that it's all okay. Okay, it's saying that the emulations haven't been found. That's fine, we haven't installed those yet. Um, so you can see where it's telling us to put the emulations. However, we can now see Liquid Mix Manager is now working. We can change all the settings in there as we normally would do if you're doing 32, 64 tracks and so on and so forth. Now we can get out of that one. Let's also install the VST for those of you playing at home with Cubase or Nuendo. Okay, so that's that part of it. Okay, for the emulation files, it's a little bit more convoluted than that, but it's the same process. In this case, we're going to open the 44.1 Liquid Mix emulation files. If we run this installation package, we'll see we have the same issue here. So we'll go through type in our password, it says the installation has failed. Now this one's a little bit more convoluted as we have to open up the package contents of the first file and then go into the contents resources tab, show package contents. We can see this archive packs.gz. Uh, this you may need a, a utility called the archive utility. I think it comes with OS X, but I'm not sure. And we can see in our downloads folder now, we have this wonderful set of uh, files that we need to manually drag across. So in order to do this, we're going to go into our main hard drive, go into our library, go into application support, and we should see liquid mixes here, but it's now empty. What we're going to do is copy these files from here over to here, we'll move them in this case, and that will now work. So let's launch up a, a digital audio workstation and have a look. Okay, so in this example, we've got a drum room uh, loaded up here, and of course, we'd love to use some classic compressors on it. So let's open up the channel strip. Let's drop in the Liquid Mix stereo. And we can see that the Liquid Mix itself starts coming alive, and we can start controlling everything up here, so it all does work. And let's select an emulation. Ooh. Feeling a leveler today. I'll also include a link down below where you can find a pictorial view of this. You can hear it's away and doing its thing beautifully. The beautiful part about um, the liquid mix is, as you can see, it's just absolutely no processing power required at all because all the DSP is in this box itself. And that's all working beautifully. So that works perfectly. So that works absolutely beautifully. So that's how you get the Focusrite Liquid Mix to work on Mac OS El Capitan. Thanks so much for watching.